if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. will sing about your heart maybe the trees will whisper the word maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope Everybody, it's Mickey and in today's video you guys are coming along with me this weekend while we get prepped for the month ahead we're gonna be heading out to the stores and see what great fall things they have on their shelves I have some copycat recipes that I want to make and I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some of my most favorite things so if you are new here I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe I put out new videos every week about all things home we have done a bunch of traveling this summer, and when I come across a really good meal, I like to try to recreate it when I get home. We were in Indianapolis a few weeks ago visiting my son, and we went to a restaurant called St. Joseph's Brewery and Public House. This restaurant was built in an old, beautiful church, and I had the best Greek burger I've ever had. So today, I want to try to recreate it at home. So this burger I have been thinking about since we got home. I have been trying to go over in my head how to recreate the flavor. I know I'm not going to get it exactly, but I thought it would be fun to try. So in this bowl, I have about a pound of ground lamb. I have um, just some store-bought tzatziki style dip, which was um, like the sauce that they had on the burger. I have some feta cheese here. I have some brioche buns. And then I thought what I would use to flavor the meat would be some just regular Italian seasoning. I have a little bit of ranch mix there. I have some minced onion some salt and pepper and some garlic powder and i thought it would be really delicious to make some sweet potato planks that i'm going to roast in the oven with a little bit of garlic rosemary and some olive oil so this is what i know about having a very delicious memorable meal for me it has so much to do with who I am there with. And this lunch, I was there with um, my son, my daughter, a friend of his, my husband, and it was after I had not seen my boy for a very long time. And I mean, the circumstances of our lunch couldn't have been better. I love spending time with my children. It just makes it so much more precious, especially now that, you know, the majority of them I guess, yeah, the majority of them live in a different state. So I think this is why, one of the reasons why I think this lunch was so memorable. So I have just added um, some ranch and garlic powder, salt and pepper, some minced onion and Italian seasonings to the ground meat. I'm just gonna mix this up and form it into I think um, four patties, I think that'll do us. And then we're going to brown them up in a saute pan on the stove. A little change of plan, I made this into three really large patties and I'm going to saute them here in some olive oil 
and butter until they are cooked all the way through on each side. So I have our burgers going. You can probably hear them sizzling in the background. And I scrubbed up my sweet potatoes. These two are so huge. I don't know if I'm going to use even both of them. But I'm keeping the skins on because it kind of what help it's kind of what helps keep your potato um, planks together. So I am just going to trim off the edges just a little bit. I don't know why I do that. I just have always done that. And then I'm just going to split these in half into planks and then we are going to toss them with some olive oil, garlic, salt and pepper, get them in a roasting pan and get them in the oven. It's just going to be my husband and I for dinner tonight. So I think I am just going to use one of those big potatoes because I have like 12 planks here, which I think is going to be <laughs> more than enough for us. And even we'll have some for leftovers. So I'm just going to spread it out in a pan and I am going to add some olive oil. nice generous amount of that. I'm going to add a bunch of garlic. I'm just using some minced garlic from a jar and yes I know that fresh is so much better but I wanted everything to be nice and easy tonight and this is about as easy as it gets. So we're also going to add some kosher salt in here, some black pepper, and I'm going to add a little bit of some Italian seasoning because this has rosemary and thyme and basil and a little bit of oregano. And then we're gonna give these a toss and get them in the oven. The burgers are just about done. I'm going to add some crumbled feta cheese on top here. Let them sit and melt a little bit. And then we'll get everything all plated up. So this is our dinner all served up. This sandwich looks so good. I put the lamb burger on a bed of spinach. I have some feta cheese on there, some of that tzatziki dip as a little bit of a dressing. I have my sweet potato planks here with garlic and some parsley sprinkled on top. This smells so good. I cannot wait to eat it. So I am out the door to check out Home Goods, Hobby Lobby, and Michaels to see what new fall things they have on their shelves. Although it is still July, my heart is totally in fall. I am so looking forward to fall this year. And you know, let's be serious. I look forward to fall every year. So I have some gift cards left over from my birthday that I have been saving for some new fall decor. So our first stop is Home Goods. Now they are still working on getting all of their fall and holiday Halloween things out. What they did have out was really awesome. And then I headed over to Hobby Lobby because I have a fall project that I'm going to be working on and sharing with all of you guys in an upcoming video. They have had their fall things out for about a month, I think, and now they have finally gone on sale. 
Everything was about 40% off, which was great. I also headed out to Michael's. I really don't plan on buying too much today. I want to scope things out a little bit and make a plan for projects that I want to do and for what I want to add to my fall decorations. I do have a fall haul for you today. I'm so excited. It is my first fall haul of the season. Today I went into Home Goods, into Hobby Lobby, and into Michaels. So my first stop of the day was Home Goods. And when I went in, they were still stocking their shelves. They had a few Halloween things out and I was so tempted to come home with so many more things. But when I saw this canister, I got so excited. If you guys know anything about me, you know that I have such a love for Charlie Brown. I have loved him since I was a little girl. I always had a Charlie Brown lunchbox, Charlie Brown folders. I just loved him. So when I saw this canister, I originally thought that it probably was a Ray Dunn because the font kind of resembles Ray Dunn, but it's not. It's put out by... Um, peanuts.com and it is just adorable let me take the lid off here so easier to turn around on the top there they have a little jack-o-lantern with Snoopy laying on top and all around the sides is just the peanuts gang there's the man Charlie Brown and they have Snoopy and Woodstock and Linus and Sally and Franklin and it says that happiness is Halloween and that is truly how I feel and I just think this is adorable not sure where I'm going to put it but you can be sure that it's going to be out somewhere throughout the fall season because I just love this so much I also picked up a couple of their felt pumpkins whenever I see these I like to pick up a couple of them I have quite a collection of them by now and I use them uh, throughout fall all the way from like the end of August until Christmas really that they are out somewhere in the house so I got two of these small ones which were $6.99 and then I got this little bit larger one that was $7.99 and like I said whenever I see them I like to pick them up I really like these orange ones and I also like to pick up the white ones whenever I see them I had a gift card from my birthday for Hobby Lobby, so I ran in there as well. I have a whole nother bag full of things that I am going to save for another video. But while I was in there, they were having a really great sale. So I bought a couple of placemats. I like to use like little seasonal placemats um, like down um, in our TV area on our lower level, like on the... Um, you know, the little end table so we can put our drinks and stuff on the table. And I thought these were so pretty. I love the little woven and the colors of this. I also picked up a couple of these rugs. So they're normally like $14 and I think they were like 40 or 50% off. So I got two of them. I'm going to use them on the backs of my chairs on my little front porch. Because I think from, you know, like from the street it'll look like it's a... Um, like a blanket instead of really putting a real blanket out there out in the weather so I got two of these and then I also got I think five of these strings of wooden beads they were only $5.99 and I think they were 40% off and I use these on my Christmas tree at Christmas time I have a couple of them um, in my Christmas decor but I have these all over my house. And whenever I see them, especially for this price, I could not make this string for um, cheaper than what I bought it for. So I think I bought like, I wanna say like five or six of these. So that is my little first time for fall haul. And as you know, going throughout the seasons, there's gonna be a lot more of these.
fall is just around the corner and I just received in the mail my fall deco crated box. This is a quarterly decor description service that is just full of such good things. They send a box out every quarter for the new season. They also have um, specialty boxes that come out uh, at Halloween, at Christmas time, Easter time, and around the 4th of July. So I could not wait to open everything up so I have it all on display here so you can see what came in this box and I just can't wait to put it around the house. So we got this really beautiful cream and tan lumbar pillow. It has these adorable little tassels on all four ends and this one came actually stuffed with a pillow. Usually when we get pillows they are just the pillowcases and you can just you know buy your own fillers for them, but I like the fact that this actually came all stuffed and ready to go. They also sent out this beautifully soft blanket. I really like the color of this. It's like a creamy ivory color. It's a little bit darker than ivory, which is perfect for my family room if I choose to put it in there. And it is really soft and has all of this fringe at the bottom here which i really love to like drape over a chair or on a blanket ladder it just looks so pretty what would a fall box be without a pumpkin and look at this isn't this just so beautiful this is just a glass pumpkin it has an opening there on the bottom so you can put one of those um, battery operated candles in there or you can also put the little um, twinkle battery operated twinkle lights inside of there which is that what I'm probably going to do with this but I just thought it's so beautiful it has like these engraved leaves on it and it looks so high-end to me I have I was just at home goods and I saw all of their beautiful glass pumpkins and I think this is just on par with what you see out in the stores right now they also included this beautiful round basket. I think it is such a great size. This would be a perfect size for one of your um, indoor plants. I have a couple plants that I have over by my French doors and I love baskets like this because it kind of dresses them up a little bit and makes them look, um, you know, like an accessory to the room rather than just a flower pot. So that's what I think I'm gonna be doing with this one. And they also included this beautiful cream colored vase along with a flower pick to go inside. All of these things are just so neutral. I think it would go into just about anybody's house. So I'm gonna take a couple minutes and add these pieces to my different rooms here and I'll show you what I do with them. I was able to use almost every piece from the box right here in my dining room. If you guys remember, I got this old school desk um, in April for my birthday at one of my favorite antique shops, and I was able to use almost every piece from the box. As you can see, I have the blanket here all laid out. I have like the little tip of it stuffed down into the ink well there. The pillow fits just perfectly and our glass pumpkin looks so beautiful with the little battery operated light inside. And I just added a little bit of eucalyptus here. I think that it looks so pretty. On the top of the desk, I added our vase with the pretty cream flowers that came in the box. I added more of that eucalyptus there, and I think it's just the perfect touch. And if you remember, this little lazy Susan, it was from a previous deco crated box, and I think it all looks so beautiful together. Deco Crated has given me a new promo code for you guys to use to save 15% off of their site. It is Deco15. I'm going to leave links and more information in the description box down below. I really hope that you guys check this out. Like I said, I have been getting Deco Crated boxes for probably four to five years now and I have loved every single one they keep getting better and better and as you can see you know the pieces mesh so well together that you can use pieces from a box that you got last year and they look just as beautiful with pieces that you got this year
For me, a huge part of getting ready for the month ahead is getting my planners and my journals all set up. I'm sure you guys have noticed by now, I am not the most spontaneous person you ever want to meet. I really like to have my week planned out. I like to know like what appointments are coming up. I like to know that I am prepared for whatever comes my way. And my planners play a huge part in that. So I just got a new planner that I hope lasts me for the rest of the year and into 2024. And it is the new Erin Condren um, hourly canvas style planner. So this planner has no color which I love. It is super neutral. It has some updates to their layout. I love it because as you guys know, I really do like to use a lot of stickers in my planner and this will be a perfect backdrop for all of that. And I really love my cover. So I had known that Erin Condren had an option where you can upload photos, you know, like photos of yourself or your family and have a cover made. And I didn't realize that you, you can also do that with artwork. So this is my new artwork from my um, channel art. And I was playing around with it and I was able to have a cover made with um, my channel art on it, which I think came out so great. I really am in love with this art because it has, um, if you look at it online, it has like just everything that I like to do. It's like cooking and decorating and the holidays and my planners. And it has my little caricature that I had done. So I really think that it came out so adorable. So a couple videos ago, I had mentioned something about anxiety, something like, you know, it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter how Together you might look to the outside world. I think that we all walk around with a certain level of anxiety. I know for myself that um, there are times when I have really high anxiety. And I had been asked several times since then, what do I do to help with anxiety? And planning, honestly, has a huge part to play in that because I am someone that really needs to feel prepared for what's to come. So planning out my week, knowing um, what appointments, what's going on, um, so that I don't have any surprises is very comforting to me. Now the other thing that I have done since I was a really little girl is journal. It has come and gone, you know, um, with certain things in my life, but journaling is just something that has always been um, a part of my life. So currently I do like three different types of journals. And this one here is, um, one that I use a lot with journaling prompts. This is an Archer and Olive, um, dot grid eight by eight book, which is my favorite size. I have a bunch of these <laughs> up on my shelf, all full of things. And I find that journaling really does help get me over humps of, you know, anxiety. A lot of my anxiety really does center around um, my children and their safety, what's going on in their lives. And journaling really helps me get all those feelings out on paper and it just makes me feel better. So since I had gotten so many questions about that, I thought I would is to bring journaling a little bit more into focus um, on my channel. Um, what I like to do at the beginning of every month is to go online and look for um, journaling prompts. Let me show you what I have for August. So I found this online. I'm gonna try to look it up and see where I found it so I can leave you guys a link down below. But all I do is I print it out, I tape it in my book, and I go from, you know, from day to day with the journaling prompts and write a little bit. It could be, you know, a paragraph. It could be a page or two. It's whatever I'm feeling at the time. So I thought that something like this, if you're just starting journaling, might seem overwhelming and you didn't need any more stress in your life thinking, oh my God, I've missed like three days in a row. I've screwed it up. So what I did was I put together 
a free printable for you guys of some of my favorite journaling prompts. There's um, 12 here. They're very simple um, and it's just something to kind of get, you know, the whole process going for yourself. You know, grab a notebook, grab some loose leaf paper, maybe choose, you know, two to five different prompts to do and to see how it makes you feel. Like the prompts on here are very simple. What are you most thankful for? Um, you know, where are you happiest? What's your favorite quote and why? You know, just very simple to get those thoughts and your imagination going and you can see how it works for you and if this is something that you guys really like I would really like to include something like this maybe monthly we can do um, different journaling prompts especially during um, the holidays I really like to do like you know um, fall bucket list and things like that so you guys will have to tell me in the coming weeks either in the comments or send me an email. My email is always in the description notes um, be, you know, below the video and tell me how it works for you. So thank you all so much for watching today. Check the description box down below for the free printable and information and the promo code for Decocrated. Join our communities over on Facebook and Instagram at My Bashful Life. And don't forget to subscribe. I'd love to have you all back as part of our YouTube family. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have. Be kind to each other. Stay safe. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.